Welcome to the How to Create a Register Form Tutorial. We have here an empty Visual Web GUI project and we are going to create a login form with the uh, option to register to our application. So let's start by creating the uh, login form. We're going to add a new form. I'll select Web GUI form. Let's say my Logon form. Okay. Now let's change the uh, logon form to inherit from the Visual Web GUI logon form, and let's add the uh, using Gizmox Web GUI forms authentication. And let's go ahead and design the uh, logon form. What we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, tab control. And we're going to define it to take all the, uh, the form. And now we are going to define the uh, tab control appearance to be uh, logical so we won't see it in runtime. There's the uh, appearance. Oh. Okay. And it's logical. And now we're going to create two new controls. One will be the uh, logon form. We call it logon control. And the other will be the uh, register control. And let's define, let's uh, design the, log the logon control. And we're going to add some controls. Let's add the uh, labels, the username label, and the password label. And let's add some text boxes, username text box, and the uh, password text box. Some large text boxes. And let's add buttons. Button here it is the logon button and the uh, cancel button and let's add a uh, link label so the user can register now let's change the uh, text on the uh, different controls and this will be uh, the username. And we'll have here the uh, password. And here we'll have the uh, logon. And clear. And this will be register. Okay, so we have the uh, logon form. Now let's go and design the uh, register control. Let's start again adding controls. We'll start by adding a label for the username, for the password, for the uh, for the first name, and for the last name. Now let's go and add text boxes. We'll add the uh, Username text box, okay, and the password text box, and the first name text box, and the last name. Let's align the controls. And let's enlarge. Okay, now let's add buttons. We'll add the uh, register button and the clear button. Okay, now let's change the text on the uh, different controls. This will be the uh, username and the password. 
and the first name and last name and we have here the uh, register button and the cancel button okay now let's define the uh, password char so you won't see the uh, password and the same you have to do on the uh, logon control the password here it is okay now let's go ahead and work on the uh, controls let's go ahead and work on the uh, logon form and let's add an event public event event handler and it will be register and let's find the uh, register event and it will be the click of the uh, register label and we're going to check if register is subscribed to and we're going to raise the register event event args dot empty okay and we're going to do the same for the uh, register control let's bind the uh, register click button and let's add an event public event event handler and it will be done and let's add a uh, private method raise done let's check if done is subscribed to and we will raise the done event event handler sorry hogs empty now what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, registration data and store it into the uh, application context so in the uh, register button click we're going to do this dot context dot application and we're going to concat the uh, user underscore to the uh, this dot text box dot text which is the uh, username and it will be equal to the uh, password text dot text which is the uh, password and we're going to raise done to exit from the uh, register logon form and let's bind also the uh, cancel and the cancel will simply raise done now we have both control almost ready we have to uh, implement the uh, logon event handler and what we're going to do here is we're going to check if the context dot application and as we can cut it in the uh, register form this dot text works and the username if this is equal to this dot text to dot text which is the password the user entered now in order for this condition to work we have to cast the string okay and if it works it means that the user exists and we need to do this dot context dot session dot is logon equals true and this will enter us to the application so now now we have both controls ready and what we're going to do is we're going to design the uh, logon form let's build the application seems to be building okay now let's go to the uh, logon form 
and we should have in the toolbox the two different uh, controls let's add to tab page one the uh, logon control and let's add to tab page two the register control now we can go ahead and dock the controls to fill and dock the other control to fill as well okay and now let's bind to the events the logon control has the uh, register event which we exposed and the uh, register form has the uh, done event which we exposed okay now in the case of the uh, register event we are going to say this dot tab control dot selected index equals one which is the uh, second tab and in the uh, done event we are going to return to the uh, first tab which is the uh, logon tab now we are almost ready what we need to do now is to register our logon form so let's go ahead to the uh, web config and we'll unmark the uh, authentication definition and we have here the uh, authentication and we have to map the uh, logon form so the logon form assembly is uh, VWG demos and the namespace is VWG demos also and the uh, class name is my logon form okay so now we should have a uh, working application let's go ahead to the uh, form one which is actually our application and add a uh, label so we will know that we have, have entered to the application and the label will say my application okay so let's try and uh, execute the application okay so we have our logon form we have the register link let's click the link and we have the uh, register form I'll enter my user it will be guy and password and first name guy last name colored register and we're back to the uh, logon form and I'm going to enter my new user guy and password and we're in the application that's how you uh, create a register form Thank you for uh, watching this tutorial.